I'm Dr. Julie Schell from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital, and today I would like to talk to you about retained deciduous teeth. Poor little Tressa had that when she was a baby. By the time an animal's about four months old, all of his, her or her adult teeth should be in there properly, and they shouldn't come out. And so overall, um, an animal should look like this, where there's a fang tooth of an adult, and a fang tooth up top, and a fang tooth of an adult on the bottom. It should never look like there's a baby tooth and an adult tooth together. When that happens, that means the teeth didn't grow in properly, and that can lead to problems in the future with the adult teeth. The dog might even require braces, or if that baby tooth isn't extracted, it will be very sore and when it breaks because the baby tooth is much weaker than the adult tooth, and when it breaks, it will lead to pain and infection. So it's very important to have that surgically removed properly. And so what we did is we had to do a full dental procedure where we did some radiographs, pain control block, like we froze that area, and then I did a proper surgical extraction. And I just wanted to show you how good her teeth turned out. This is the baby tooth that I had to have removed. It's tiny on the outside. It's the root that is the long thing. The root's about two centimeters long, and the crown, which is the part that we see, is only one centimeter long. So that's why I had to do a proper surgical extraction. You can't just grab it and pull it out. It needs proper care, so that's important. Um, so now she's so good, and um, I'm just gonna show you how I train her to brush her teeth. I kind of let her smell it out of the container like that. This is the poultry flavored toothpaste, and I put some on a brush, and she learned to like kind of let me um, use the brush on her at a young age. And basically, I wanted to show you how beautiful her adult teeth came in. And this is the side um, that uh, had one extraction, and I had to do the other side too. And so it was just behind there that it had to come out. So now it came out beautifully, there's no gingivitis, and she lets me do really good tooth brushing every day. I do that as a routine, so all of my dogs, they know when it's tooth brushing time, and I do it the same time every day so that I don't forget. And so she's really used to this. And she actually comes, whenever she sees the toothbrush, she's like, yay, it's tooth brushing time. And she actually comes to get it done. And so I'm just kind of using a technique where I'm massaging in in circles and around. And she lets me do the top and bottom and the front teeth as well. And you can do it on the floor or on a table. Sometimes she's better when I do it on the floor, and sometimes she just likes to be on the table. Um, but I try to do that every day for, I try to do about three, two minutes of brushing. It doesn't take very long to do the whole row, um, but it's a lot of fun for me and for her. She really likes beautiful, healthy, healthy teeth and a good smelling breath. So if you have any questions, please give us a call at 403-278-1984 and check out our website. It's www.bowbottomvet.com. Thank you very much.